Beggars can't be choosers. Right. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It is Thursday, the, I think it's March 29th, 30th, um, end of March. We are, I'm getting off a couple of days of guiding and uh, the the footage you saw. So we'll, we'll do, we'll do a couple little recaps of uh, the bass fishing right now and the crappie fishing. So the bass fishing, it's still, yeah, yesterday it was it was kind of it's kind of cool uh, first thing in the morning. Um, and then today a little bit better um, as far as weather goes. But uh, yeah, we we're still still catching them on the swim bait, the jewel gem shad uh, head on that. That is that is working great. We actually this morning found some schools of shad back in in a couple of the creeks and and uh had some fish actively chasing the shad they were they were actually busting on the shad i joked around with my guys like mate maybe we should be throwing top waters right now <laughs> water temperature was 53 54 degrees um really really clear um you know still working those baits pretty slow under the schools of shad working them up shallow kind of scrubbing it on the bottom like we do this time of the year um, the other thing that's that has worked worked today um, pretty well the um, uh, the jewel peewee football jig is starting to work that is a perfect imitator of the size of the crawdads right now and we're getting some though you'll catch a fish and they'll spit up some crawdads in the boat and stuff and and uh it's that is that is deadly right now um that imitates the size of them perfect but yeah it's uh it is getting ready to you know we're i keep saying this we're we're a week a week away it's, it's looking like next week so we're going to get some 70 and 80 degree days and and that's really going to trigger these fish to to really start moving up and and biting really really well um 
I know it's it is it's kind of the same old thing every spring we we'll get a few days of warm weather and nice and the fish act right and then we get get rain and then boom we get another cold front but uh looks like we've got a little bit of rain moving in tonight tomorrow night or tomorrow and and uh some uh pretty pretty strong winds to go with that and that's that's actually not a bad thing um, it's going to be warm. That will warm that water up really, really quick. Um, oh, they have uh, shut down not all the current on Taney Como running through Table Rock Dam, but uh, about half of it, I believe. So maybe they will keep the Table Rock a little bit high. That would be great if they did um, in those bushes and stuff. Uh, for us shallow water fishermen that like to do that but um, yeah the bass fishing it's not bad right now it's it's not you got to kind of hunt and peck around when you find them back in these in these creeks these feeder creeks and stuff you you will you'll catch several out of an area and, and uh, still still using Finding those those schools of bait fish, uh, the actual finding the fish with the uh, active target, um, and it it does. It's it's a very useful tool. It it helps you find them. Doesn't mean that they're always going to bite, but um, yes, it it does it does help you find them. Um, reduces that that search time a lot. So. Um, and then yesterday afternoon had a uh, trip with Pete Leonard, um, a crappie trip. We we ran up in uh, in Long Creek and Cricket, and, and uh, um, the water around Cricket and Long Creek it's still kind of muddy. But the further up you go, it starts to clear up, and and um, you know it's it's still it's still fairly stained and muddy up there but uh the crappie are starting we found some uh 58 to 60 degree water temperature way up there and the the crappie are are starting to bite a little bit it's uh they've you know they've been kind of like the bass back and forth a little bit but they're starting to bite pretty decent we had a we had a pretty decent afternoon um caught I don't know probably around 30 or so crappie and and uh, did pretty well everybody in our group caught caught some crappie and um, the main main thing with with the crappie this is <clears throat> a bait that uh, is made by eater baits it is just their their swimming minnow um, Pete uh, his dad actually makes these. This is a, you can see it's got a lot of action to it. We just rig it on a, usually on a pink eighth ounce head and, and uh, man, this thing is deadly, deadly, deadly um, for the crappie. And, you know, also same thing. It's, especially with the crappie fishing, it's, it's pretty critical to have that forward facing sonar they're they're you know you you can target those those crappie that way and and you know you don't have to have it but um it sure makes the process a lot easier catching them so um yeah it's um it is and i really look for after this rain and in the warm-up next week i really look for those crappie to to start getting after it, uh, and they they should be moving up on the banks, and and uh, we were finding, you know, it's it, the better crappie were closer to the banks, and the the smaller ones were were out in the standing timber and the in the brush piles and stuff. But and that's kind of typical right now. The the bigger females and stuff they're starting to move up uh, a little bit closer to the banks. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Um, keep tuning in, please, please, please. Also, check out Table Rock Fishing Intel. Um, Pete does uh, weekly uh, crappie reports, so you, you can kind of stay up with where the crappie are at and what they're doing on there. Um, 
you know, uh, I contribute. I, I do fishing reports on Table Rock Fishing Intel. Eric Prey, um, he he is the the owner of that. He runs that. And he he also does up weekly updated fishing reports and videos and stuff. So check that out. It is it is very 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 useful information out there. Um, yeah, and keep keep watching my videos. Like and subscribe. Um, oh, I have got to. I've got. Uh, let's see. Some of the guys, a couple of the guys I took out yesterday, uh, Kale and Clay, they, uh, they were, uh, from, they're from Indiana. Um, a couple of young guys, a couple of young anglers, really, really, really good anglers. Um, they, they have, uh, they, they had a pretty decent day yesterday um, catching the bass. I, I hope to see them back in my boat. Those those boys knew how, how to handle themselves and, and catch the bass. I, I told them to come back maybe when they get out of school for the summer and uh, see if mom and dad will bring them back, back down here and uh, and we'll take them fishing again. We'll get in some, some uh, big smallmouth early this summer. So... Kale and Clay, see you guys soon, I hope. And guys, thanks again for tuning in.